Hi, Hi. everyone. <laughs> right in front of your face. Welcome to STEM Monday. We're happy you decided to join us and check out our video. Um, and this is going to wrap up kind of our this week, I should say, this week of videos of STEM Monday of um, story times. Imagine your story. They're going to kind of wrap up our summer themed um, virtual programming. And we'll be back in September with some new um, fresh programs with you. Um, but so enjoy this week. And um, full Wait, line. Does that mean we're going to stop the pick and make it pieces? We'll see. I'll see my supply. Um, but so enjoy this week. And um, it's been fun this summer doing this with you, this kind of lineup. Um, and I'm excited to bring some new ideas and different things to you in September. Um, so we are going to do two little experiments today. Um, we are, and they both involve dish soap, okay? That's why we've got our dish soap front and center. Um, but the first one we're going to do is we're going to try and make our own silly putty, okay? Now, I know we've made like, well, maybe not in STEM Monday, but I know like a lot of people have made slime, but we're going to try and make Silly Putty out of dish soap and cornstarch. Okay? What about pepper? That's for our second experiment. Okay, so first we need two-thirds of a cup of cornstarch. And I'm hoping that I have enough. Otherwise, we'll have to use a little bit less dish soap. So let's see. Do you have cornstarch? Yep. That's what you need to use for edible slime. Okay, but I don't quite have two thirds of a cup. So I'm going to go with a third of a cup because that's what I have in here. And I've gotten it all over myself, haven't I? Um, and so then instead of, for, if you're going to use two thirds of a cup of cornstarch, you use half a cup of dish soap. I'm going to use one third a cup of cornstarch. So I'm going to use um, a quarter cup of, of dish soap. So I'm just having it. It's just going to be smaller. Okay. Okay, can you pour that in the pan? You can use more, like if you want to make a ginormous Yes, one. those are just the ratios. Good. Okay, now I'm going to use a quarter cup of dish soap. And I'm going to make apple slime. That's good. Ready? You pour that in. Good. But how does this make silly putty? We'll see. Good. I feel silly putty is good. Um, it's similar to slime, but it's different. And we're just going to add just a drop or two of water. Um, just to help with that bonding. It helps fire up that bonding Wait, process. Wait, do you have to mix with your hands? Or you can get a spoon. Would you rather have a spoon? Spoon. Okay. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Dish soap and cornstarch. Okay. I really have covered myself in cornstarch. Yeah, that's okay. I'm going to put something else on after this. Okay. I'm not sure. This smells like cake batter. I mix it, mix the liquid in the cornstarch. Cornstarch looks just like flour. Mm -hmm. But flour would not work in this experiment. Um, Why not? Because it's more processed than cornstarch. Um, so it wouldn't react the same way. <clears throat> so while she's mixing it up, I will talk a little bit about the science behind it while she gets it together. And you can always add a little bit more water um, if you need to. If you have a bigger one. Um, I mean, if it's not bonding quite, but I think it's coming together. It so dish soap. Like, sorry, puppy. Well, you got to keep mixing it together. You're going to need to use your hands eventually. Dish soap is a surfactant, um, which means that its molecules have polar opposite ends, a negative and a positive. Okay, so this causes it to stick to compounds such as oil and link up with the long carbon chains that are in cornstarch. Okay, so that's how it comes, that's how it bonds together. Can you start using your hands? 
Ooh, that one. This is, it looks like, it smells like cake batter, and it looks like cookie It smells dough. like cake batter. It smells like cake batter, but it's like, Ooh. it looks like cookie dough or pizza dough. <laughs> I don't if know about that. If we together, I'm going to be upset, because I like that. <laughs> You might need to knead it, like slime. Can I continue the next project? No, because we don't know what it is. Um, ideally, we'd have more cornstarch, because it's looking like we would need to add a little more cornstarch to make it bind a little bit more, because it's very runny and watery. Can you shake? Is there anything left in that container, Madeline? Can you try shaking it in? Well, put one last thing. Okay. Good. It may also be. But I don't have chemically enough. My dish soap is not chemically chemically enough. Um, that happened um, one spring break when we spring vacation when we were doing our big annual slime party, and I bought like this nice um, it wasn't dish soap it was like laundry detergent that we were gonna we had different ways to make um, slime and we were gonna use laundry detergent but it was fine. too natural um so i'm wondering if that is the case with this. <laughs> is there all the recipes there's all the recipes um like i i don't i don't use i'm at home and i don't use that like bright blue smelly stuff um to wash my dishes so i think that might be a problem um let me try I want to poke it. I wonder if it feels cool. You can definitely play with it. Why not? I know one thing you can do with it. But I think that must be it. Because this... Yeah. I've got one thing you can do with this. What? You need one of those heater things. Like, you know how we roll here. You can, like, do always... something with it and then, like, use one of those heater things to make it harden. So, I feel like that's the only thing you can do. You think? Yeah. I think I need to wash my hands. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I look real, I'm really here, upset. Here, Madeline, you stay here with our friends for a minute. I feel really upset because, like, I really want this for me. My slime just didn't work. That's why I was asking her if she still had that recipe. Me want to make some more slime. Wee. <gasps> Pepper. How much pepper would you add in this? It's so spoonful. Oh. Well. We like to try things, right? Don't we, Madeline? Can I put all the ingredients in our well next thing? Well done, please. Right? Okay. We like to try things, don't we? We tried that, but um. Did other right? Yeah, I soap. use. I think it's too natural. My dish soap for silly putty, anyway. Hoping it's gonna work for our other experiment. Let me just wipe up a little bit here. Can I pour all the ingredients into a next experiment? You don't even know what it is, though. So how would you pour them in? Right? And then, not right now. I feel the bubbles. Okay. Looks like water. It's the bubbles. It is water. Okay. It's water? No. It is water. I thought it was just like. No. Okay. There's just water. I have a, a little shallow pan with just plain... What I got of the tap. Okay. And some black pepper. 
So, Madeline, can you sprinkle some pepper on just right onto the water there? I personally do not like pepper. Keep going. I'm going to stop. Oops. This thing's super spicy because I personally... Well, we're not eating it. But it smells Okay, terrible. okay. Now I'm going to It's sneeze. burning my nose. Yeah. Don't sneeze. I'm not going to sneeze, but it's just... It's burning okay. my nose. So... I don't... We have know. a pan of water. I'm going to make sure you can see this. Okay, with pepper in it. Okay. Now we're taking... We're going to put a little bit of dish soap right here. Oh, it's hungry. Yeah. Then I need you to dip the toothpick in the dish soap and then stick the toothpick right in the middle. In the middle? Yeah. Here, get a little. Oh, here. Where's the middle? What do you mean? Right here? Yeah. What happened? Can you see that? Well, we're working around. What works best in the middle? Okay, put some more pepper. What happened, Madeline? It all just... I'm going to see if I can make it all go in the middle again. No, I can't make it go in the middle again. Well, no, now it has the dish soap in it. Now it broke the surface. Of, but what happened to the pepper? It just go... What happened to it? It, like... It just... Didn't, like, detergent, so it just... It left it. It left it. It almost like it ran away from it, right? Right? So, pepper is hydrophobic. We had that with, I think it was with the Sharpies when we did that. We did that Sharpie tie dye. Um, those were hydrophobic. But So, this pep pepper is hydrophobic. Um, <clears throat> so, water is not attracted to it. And it does not dissolve in water. You know, like if we did like salt, you know, it would dissolve in the water. But pepper is hydrophobic, so it doesn't. But when we add soap, the dish soap in, that breaks down the surface tension of the water. But the water molecules still want to keep the surface tension going. So they pull away from the dish soap, they run away from the dish soap, and they take the pepper with them. Okay, they carry the pepper along with them as they're trying to escape. The dish soap. Um, so that's just another fun little experiment. At least that one worked. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to try. Madeline, we'll have to try the Silly Putty one with different dish soap. Like super generic, cheap dish soap. <laughs> Maybe it'll work, but I'll have to buy more cornstarch because as you, I just used up all mine. Um, okay. That is going to be it for us today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, tomorrow is Tuesday. So I have kits prepared for you that will be at the library. I'll be there. The window will be open 10 to 2 tomorrow. Um, tomorrow and Wednesday. So if you want to grab one, um, Come on down and grab one. And I hope you all are doing well out there. And apparently we're just silly in this household right now. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Bye.